Hi, welcome to Viewpoints. I'm Tom Ballant, and I'm here today with Joe Duggan of the Fire Department, City of New York. We're here to talk about his thesis, the New York City Urban Search and Rescue Team, a case study in interagency effectiveness. So Joe, how did you come up with this topic? Well, uh, it stemmed from the uh, Mumbai attacks in uh, India from 2008, and uh, all the problems they had confronting uh, uh, an attack that involved all the first responding agencies from the city and how the major problems that arose. And it's many of the same similarities are present in the New York City first response community. So when you were looking at the Mumbai attacks, did you find similarities between New York City's situation and those in, that found in Mumbai? The similarities that I, that, that I identified were not primarily uh, agency specific or uh, the, the fire department in New York and the fire department in Mumbai, they're not analogous. However, the, the, the such scenarios were uh, lack of communications, um, uh, separate operational uh, objectives occurring in, in the same geographic space. And uh, though the, the scenarios and the situations are similar, to which, which could be replicated in New York uh, with a similar attack. And uh, what I did was I looked at the, uh, the New York City USAR team, which just recently was down in Haiti in 2010, uh, uh, recovering uh, and working in the uh, earthquake. And uh, I saw a, t a best practice example of firefighters and police officers from New York City that work well together. And I uh, looked at that for the, the organizational structures and processes and, and designs, why that worked, and, and I identified what was good. And hopefully my thesis will point a direction for uh, either future uh, interagency uh, meshing to occur in New York City. So when you looked at the Haiti situation with the USAR team, what positives did you find? Well, I, I found that in, in looking at uh, how the two disciplines work together, I found that um, the USAR team uh, has a high degree of um, dissemination of information between both disciplines, uh, uh, a broad allocation of decision making. They're all involved in making operational and uh, strategical uh, decisions and it and most importantly from what I saw was that the patterns of interaction they work very closely and in a common goal and we kind of saw this after 9-11 that the police and the fire uh, service in New York were very much united in under under extremely trying circumstances and they all saw themselves, at least in their head, that it was a common objective to uh, respond, uh, rescue, and recover uh, uh, the, at the Trade Center. So it sounds like there's a foundation there for interagencies working together. Is this, you're hoping to improve upon this with your thesis? Very much so, uh, and it's, it's applicable across the country because to a greater or lesser degree, you have uh, challenges toward interagency response, first response, in every major city between police, fire, uh, ambulance, and uh, emergency management personnel that uh, we still, to this day, we haven't uh, improved as well as we could. What kind of recommendations do you make from your thesis? Uh, number one, increased uh, interaction between uh, the NYPD and the FDNY. We don't, uh, we, we've kind of, reverted back into our, uh, our operational silos, our comfort zones. We don't often respond to major interagency operations. The police do their crime investigation, area security missions, fire department in New York City. We primarily go to structural fires and medical emergencies, not often having to deal with the other sister service. Uh, unfortunately, in the big picture, when something big happens, a, a Mumbai, a Katrina, uh, hurricane situation where we have to work together um, uh, it's been pretty well documented that we're not we're not as well prepared as we should be so uh, improving patterns of interaction um, imp uh, exchanging personnel especially in the upper leadership levels between the two departments uh, a liaison program which is currently in place but uh, could substantially be improved um, getting to uh, getting to know 
on, on the tactical level, in the street level, the, maybe not every firefighter or police officer, but at, at least at the supervisory level. And that's what I'm looking for. You looked at the fire department and the police department interaction through this USAR team. Do the lessons learned carry over to other disciplines? Uh, in, in terms of police and fire or outside of that? In terms scenario. of public health and uh, yes. other disciplines oh, that yeah. would be involved in Homeland Security. Yes, I, and one, the way I looked at it was I identified actually one of the research, re, um, organizational management theory um, articles that I looked at was from somebody from the Naval Postgraduate School, uh, a man named Mark Nissen. He wrote a thing about uh, what they call edge organizations. And these are things that, uh, uh, or entities that are very agile to respond to complex events. And they can do this without uh, a lot of pre pre-incident preparation or uh, top-down hierarchy command. And uh, you can use, if you, if, you, if you do have a high degree of interaction with inter, interdisciplinary things, if you do uh, have a, a degree of allocation of decision making uh, input and uh, you disseminate widely the information available, you're going to have a, uh, a more synergistic response or entity uh, ultimately and you'll be better prepared to respond to a complex event like a Mumbai attack. When you completed your thesis, did you identify other areas that need to be researched? Well, follow-on research, uh, I did point to. Uh, again, I, I think it, it laid a, a foundation for what needs to be done. Um, you, we can take uh, these um, criteria, categories, whatever you want to call them, and we can say down the road we need to I increase on a very fundamental scale. just. Uh, exposure between disciplines, be it fire and police, be it uh, emergency management and uh, government. Because if on that day when the balloon goes up, when, when the bullets start flying, when the, when, the, uh, when the storms start raging, if I've never met somebody before, or at least I don't have to know the man individually, but uh, if I know what his position is, I, I can pretty much figure out what he needs and what he, uh, what he needs to get from me and what I need from him. And, it's, and if we don't get to that point, we're not going to be ready for uh, the next um, attack that might occur. Well, that's very interesting. I'm sure this will have application throughout the country. I think everyone will be looking forward to reading your thesis. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, as completing this uh, program has been very rewarding for me, I hope it does serve to uh, better prepare the country and the emergency services for a uh, future event of the, such a nature.